Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii Spickle Lady. Today I have the shredder and remember for every video this month of January 2021, we're giving away a free shredder. Be sure you're a subscriber and you comment on the video. So now let's do the uh, video that I'm doing. Today I'm teaching you how to do Thai beef curry. Okay, so I have this pot here that's very hot and I'm going to pour in two tablespoons of oil and I have here about two and a half pounds of beef that I cut up so I'm going to switch this oil around and then I'm just going to saute it okay after it's sauteed I'm going to take it out and then we're going to do the other things. Now the meat has been browned. You don't have to get it all really crusty brown just as long as there's no blood. It's not pink anymore. So I put it in the pan and now I'm heating up the, the same pot and I'm adding another two tablespoons of oil because we're gonna do the spices. Uh, so Thai curry comes in red, yellow and green. And the color is from the chili peppers. That's how you get those colors, okay? So today I have some leftover of the uh, red curry paste. Comes in a thing like this. You don't have to refrigerate it, it's really good. It'll keep on your shelf for a long time. And of course you don't use too much. So the oil is hot. Now I'm gonna pour the curry paste in. That's probably about two tablespoons. I mean, if I were to eat it, I would put probably put double or more the amount, but the kids don't like it that hot, so just doing it that way. This curry is easy to buy. It comes in containers like this, and it lasts me a long time, as much as I cook. So probably something like this is just a little over $2, okay? So now uh, the, the curry paste is in there. It's heating up and just gonna stir it kind of mash it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put uh, this is palm sugar it's made <coughs> excuse me it's hot <coughs> it's made from special palm tree and it comes like this in little cakes I like it like this because it's easy to get to but it comes in different forms in large cakes and they even have some in a jar that is solid and I don't know how you get it out. So I prefer these. So I'm going to use three of these which probably equals to about three tablespoons. So it kind of melts after a while. Right now it's solid but when you get all the liquids in it'll melt down. So now I'm going to add some fish sauce. About two tablespoons of fish sauce. Just mix it all up. And then I'm going to add a can of coconut milk. I usually use the, <coughs> the Chalco brand because it's thick. <coughs> but I happen to have this one. It's organic Trader Joe's coconut milk. And I like this too because you see how thick the cream is. So you pour that in. <coughs> Excuse me, the curry. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> oh, this thing is hot. Yeah, the chili can get to you, so be careful. Drink some water in between. Okay. So just mix it all up, and now you have this wonderful fragrance that comes out. The uh, palm sugar is still kind of hard, but it'll melt eventually. So now I'm going to put in some peanut butter, two tablespoons of peanut butter. Now, there's different ways of making the curry, but this is just one variation. So this is another very fast meal to make. You can make 
within an hour you can eat. Okay, the palm sugar has melted. It got really soft and I just poked it down. So the coconut milk is in. It was one can of coconut mil milk, about 13 ounces or so. See how the color is? Everything's boiling really good, ready for the next step. So from this point, I'm adding the vegetables and the last will be the meat. So I have here a combination of things. I have potatoes that are peeled and cut up, maybe two potatoes. And I'm gonna mix it up. Then I have, uh, I have uh, three small eggplants. I like the long type, but you, if you don't have the long one, you can use the big ones. But I leave the skin on because you, you want it to stay together, okay? Then I have some, one onion, cut up, sliced. And then I have some bamboo shoots. Sometimes I have, I put in, um, straw mushrooms but I didn't have it today and I'll, actually you can use other kinds of vegetables like squashes uh, even zucchini or yellow crookneck squash or chayote squash you can put that in and the straw mushrooms are nice too and then the other thing the last thing I have is <clears throat> some basil about half a cup of basil Thai basil but you don't have to use Thai basil you can use regular basil, whatever you have. So I'm gonna mix this up really good. And the last thing I'm gonna add is the meat that we sauteed. And that's it. Now I mix up everything together. The other things I sometimes put in here are kefir lime leaves, K-A-F-F-I-R adds a real lemony kind of flavor and taste. So when I have it, I julienne it really fine, put some in, maybe about two, three leaves, and also a stalk of lemongrass. What I do is I smash it and bend it into like eight inch pieces and tie it up. And that adds some nice flavor too. And uh, the Burmese curry is very similar to this, but different kind of spices. So, so what we're gonna do now Everything's mixed up. I'm just going to bring it to a boil, cover it, and let it simmer for about half hour to 45 minutes until everything is done, and then it's ready to eat, okay? Okay, the curry is all done, so I put some in a plate. And you can also use other kinds of meat, like pork or chicken, lamb, goat, whatever you like, okay? So let's try it and see how it is piece of the meat <sighs> and the eggplant I like the eggplant in here it's kind of hot still okay mm. Okay, now you can make this. It's really delicious. But like I said, if you have children, don't use too much of the paste. And be sure you air out your house because you, you could see that I was kind of coughing from the chili that got to me. So have some water ready when you're doing it. So it only cooked in half hour. That was fine. So. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't and comment because it, you want to be on the video and in order to be on the drawing for the shredder, you have to be a subscriber and comment on the video. And if you have any requests, let me know. Thank you for watching. Mahalo.